Hi folks and welcome back to another fly fishing video. The season doesn't actually start until the 1st of April down where I live, so I've made the long trip across to the country of Wales and I've come to the Osprey Angling Association's water on the River Taff. The day ticket's only a tenner, which is an absolute steal. The only thing is, I don't really know the river that well. I've fished it once before, but I could really do with bumping into some local anglers that might be able to give me a steer to the good marks on the river. So, I'm really looking forward to the day. I'm probably going to set up two rods. One will be a double nymph rod and the other will be a dry fly rod. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can fish. Sorry? I can fish. You can fish? Ah, with this. You can't fish with that. Yeah, I can. Well, my intention was never to fish by myself today. Uh, it, it is, as I said, a strange river to me, uh, and it's nice to have someone that knows it so well. So I'm joined by Terry Bromwell. He's a multi-capped Welsh angler, and anyone on the competition scene that fishes the rivers will know Terry fairly well. He's in most of the, the current Welsh outfits. Uh, he was described to me by one of his colleagues as the best competition angler Wales has ever produced on a river. So Terry, it's great to be here and uh, fish with you again. It's been a couple of years, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, God, With yeah. all that's gone on, but uh, we're here today and conditions couldn't be any better, really, could they? I was surprised how, how warm it is. I didn't, uh, we had frost this morning and then I'm hoping we'll have some March browns coming off and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, catch a few fish today. Yeah, I was a little concerned in the week because the river was coming up. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. wild on Thursday, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, dropped a lot. This was up on the gravel, you know, it was another foot on this, and it was it's too dangerous to fish in. Yeah. Um, it's just about right now, um, and I'm hoping we can get to the few spots and land our first trout of the season. Yeah, see, well, even in at the margins, the river's becoming a little bit clearer. Yeah. Still a bit murky out in the main flow. Yeah. But you yeah. think our prospects are pretty good? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll catch a few today. Um, it looks nice. Yeah, it's very inviting. Be before we um, before we go and get tackled up, um, we had a bit of fun with the introduction, <laughs> and uh, Terry's brought along his big camera because you've got really into uh, bird photography. Yeah, yeah, some of your images I've seen them on social media. They're absolutely amazing. Th it's thanks very like much. Like professional level. Well, I, I I'm just uh, I'm just a hobbyist. I am. I just I just enjoy going out. It's the same thing as fishing. I, I just go out, I'll sit by the river, I'll watch what's around, and you just you notice so much more. Yeah. And um, especially on a on a river, like we've just seen the kingfisher fly past us. Yeah, yeah. He landed on a branch by her, but he's seen us and shot off. But uh, I just enjoy it. It's just it's just it's nice to get from a river sometimes. It's nice to sit away. Yeah. And it, and then go back to fishing. I, uh, I do often think sometimes I'd be more than happy to walk a river bank with a camera. Uh, not a bazooka, but you know, just like a normal <laughs> camera, uh, I'd be fairly happy. But that's a cracking bit yeah. of kit. Um, so it's a, just another passion, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I, I think over lockdown with everything that's gone on, I think I, I just because we couldn't go far, I'd, I'd done the garden out, started yeah. feeding the birds. I seen your um, home built hide. <laughs> yeah. uh, Terry yeah. built a little hide in his back garden, and yeah, uh, yeah. it was quite impressive. Yeah, and you've got some amazing images. Yeah, I, I, it's just. You make do with what you got, no? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, if if recent times has taught us anything, Terry, is that yeah. we've really got to appreciate being outside. Yeah, and in the yeah. company of others. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that said, mate, shall we go and get tackled up and uh, see what we can do? Let's do it. Let's do Perfect. it. Perfect. Let's catch a couple. I forgot to mention that I have a strong urge 
got a 9 foot 928 uh, Anak su uh, Superb XP Lovely rod, love it I got the, the new su uh, Superb XP Anak reel as well It's nice um, And for I'll be using the French leader The 900 uh, centimeter Camo um, The Hens I believe And then I got a bit of just really high bright um, Monofilament I think it's Hanak a bio indicator it's about two and two and a quarter feet um, and then from there I'll probably have about because of the depth of water I'll probably have about from typical ring little micro ring to about six foot and then about two foot above that I'll have two flies on and I'll put probably a four mil and a 3.5 just to feel my way around see if I start catching or I'll go out heavy I like to see where the fish are and um, that's my plan for a moment. First trout of the season. Look at the, look at the condition. For a tough trout. Well, Terry's got us off the mark with a lovely brown trout from the Taff. An absolutely stunning looking fish. It was almost silver. Uh, fantastic start and conditions continue to be ever improving. The river's dropping fast, the clarity is becoming crystal, and it promises to be a great day. Well, it's not exactly easy fishing and we knew it was not going to be easy fishing on the Taft. The Taft don't wake up really early season, uh, but you do, you do well catch them. We've, we've caught a couple of fish now, um, not very big, but the river's just a little bit too high for what we want. It's just just a couple of inches too high, but it's for, the water is pushing. You can't get to them little uh, slack spots on the other side of the river in the deep holes. And um, now at one o'clock, we've started to see a few March Browns start to hatch, as uh, large dark olives start to hatch, and we've seen a couple of fish start to rise. So we're going to change over now to the dry fly, and uh, maybe go work on the the longer, flatter pools, where hopefully we can get in and maybe catch a few more, and maybe maybe catch one of the t elusive tough monsters. Who knows? Well, we're into the afternoon session now, and. Uh, Terry and I are working really hard. Conditions really couldn't be better. The river's fining down. We're starting to see some marked browns coming down the river. Nothing rising to them really. We've seen one or two rises, but very little action. So we're going to persevere for a bit. We're working our way up and we've moved over to the Ronda. The river's a lot clearer than the Taff and uh, we're hoping we're going to get into some sport soon. <laughs> Brilliant. Sorry. Well, Terry's just shown me how it's done. We spot one riser. It's probably the only fish we've seen rise all day. I had several failed attempts and the master took the rod from me and first cast, he caught a cracker of a fish. Let's have a little look at it now. Terry, the day's caught up with us. Um, we haven't even stopped for lunch actually. The fishing's been really tough today and once we got into it we kind of got our heads down and uh, we fished the taff in the morning and then round about one o'clock-ish we moved across to the Ronda. So how do you think it's gone today Terry? 
tough or I, I expected it to be tough my yep, early season. Yep. You did uh, say it would be hard work. Yeah, it's um, it, the tough one uh, is is kind of hard. Higher up in the river, it, it can be really good, but yeah. down with me, it, it takes a couple more weeks and warm weather. But we, we caught a couple. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I've got to couple. say, when uh, when I turned up, I said to, I did say to Terry, I, I couldn't ask for any better conditions. The river was fine and down. It was clear and lovely, yeah. and the flow seemed quite nice. Yeah, it was. It, if anything, it was a little bit too much flow. I, I would uh, like the, a couple of inches lower. Yeah, to get into yeah. Because some of the where them creases are, and that slack water was. That's where I would. That's where I wanted to be. Yeah. It was just. You couldn't get to it. It was certainly pushing through on the tarth. <laughs> yeah. You might notice I'm wearing a different jersey, and that's because uh, there was a bit of swimming going on in the tarth, and I had to. Luckily, I had yeah. a dry bag with me and I've managed yeah. to change it. Yeah. But, Terry, I've had an absolutely fabulous day. Yeah, Unfortunately, enjoying. you live too far away. We don't do this enough. I know, I but know. I really appreciate the invite down to the TAF. And I'm looking forward to the next time. Yeah. Thanks very much, pal. All right.